All right, so what is up everybody once again? Uh, this is day three, I think, of motor build is day, I mean motor pull was like day one, I guess, but I didn't film that, so day three. This is day three of um, tearing apart this motor. As you see, there's not much left. I just gotta take the, uh, the oil pump off, the pan, uh, pull out the main connecting stuff, pistons, almost there. I'm trying to stay nice and organized with this right now. I got this, as you see. Front is that way. So, the cams, uh, spark plugs, coil packs, uh, those are the head studs. Those are going in the garbage because I got the ARP coming. Uh, a little crispy on top. It is what it is. So, uh, let's, uh, let's keep tearing this thing down. Uh, I'm going to flip this thing over. I know there's going to be more oil that pours out of this thing, but. Whatever. Oh, one other thing, as you saw in the uh, in the last video when I was pulling the head off, uh, the way I explained it, I actually took the head off uh, the incorrect way. I loosened it in this in this sequence. You're supposed to use to tighten it. Uh, to tighten it, you go from the inside out. To loosen it, you go outside in. Uh, I loosened it inside out. So uh, I was already bringing everything to the machine shop. So hopefully, I didn't fuck it up that bad. But you live and you learn. Let's throw some stuff down on the floor. Just when you think it's completely drained, uh, it's not. Now that we got that out of the way of uh, making another mess, I uh, just gotta do. The oil pan, it's a bunch of 12 millimeters, so uh, let's get cracking with that. And the next, the thing after that's gonna be uh, getting all the RTV off. It's a bunch of 10 mils, not 12s. All right, the oil pan is off. Doesn't look that bad. Almost looks like RTV. Uh, oil pan is pretty clean. Pretty clean, so um, let me start disassembling more. I gotta take this oil pickup and uh, the main cap off. And then we'll see about getting, well maybe I'll take the oil pump off first. One of the uh, common practices to do with the RB, uh, the crank collar has this little, well the crank has this little collar on it, and it only protrudes, say that much, and it feeds into the, the oil pump. The oil pump is keyed for the same way as that. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but you see that little tiny mark right there? There's that whole straight face, but there's only that little mark right there. That's all the that's all the crank comes in contact with the oil pump. So, um, what I'm planning on doing while this thing is apart, I have an extended collar coming in, coming in the mail, and you base you have to get this milled off, and then you have to have a machine shop install the new one. So, that's a big that's a big thing to do just so you have more uh, surface contact with your oil pump because if your oil pump breaks, you shot. I'm gonna do the main the, the main cap now. Uh, I already got some of the crack loose, and then realized I wasn't recording. Uh, start from the inside in. Inside. Starting from the outside in. 17 mils. These. Um, I'm not gonna be too careful about where I place these. I'm not labeling them because I have uh, ARP main studs coming in.
looking at this, it might be a little difficult to remember where, which way goes where when you're throwing it back, but there's a little notch here. And that's where the, the oil pickup is on the, on the actual block. And I mean, it's a little smaller on the, this end, the back end, but something to remember. It's uh, trying my best here to uh, film it. Uh, I'm trying not to touch the camera, well, right now I, right now I can, but I'm, have gloves and it's tons and tons of oil all over the place, but I got the oil pump off. There's the, the oil pickup tube, the main cap, uh, the rear main seal is off, but I can't seem to get it out right now because of the whole setup here, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that on until I take these pistons out. Uh, I'm going to do that next is you know, 14 mils all the way up. Once those come out, I can take the, uh, then I can take the crank off. Uh, I said I have it labeled here. I'm probably going to put the right to cylinders on here, even though I guess I'm not going to. It doesn't really matter right now because uh, it's going to go back with all new stuff. Like, there's bearings back here somewhere. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Oh, that's a subframe bushing, subframe, injectors, fuel pumps, wiring harness. Those are the rods and external wastegate. Like, all, all the good stuff is going in this. So, um, let me pull these out. Should take a couple minutes. I mean, it's two per piston and it's fucking six. So, those should come right out and then we'll work on, then we can take the crank out actually. So let's do that. Cylinder six, one's out already. All right, we're at the point I'm gonna pull out the crankshaft now and make sure not to drop that back piece. This is gonna try not to. It's probably gonna fall. Actually, get an idea. So we are done here today. Uh, just actually, let's look at the pistons. I'll show you, not the pistons. I'll, let's look at the, the cylinder walls here. See those scratches there, right there, there. Uh, there's another one with it. It's on a six. It's on a. It's on a couple of the cylinders. Either like three or four of them, but. Uh, we're probably going to get them bored out. I haven't decided if I want to do the 86.5 mil or 87. I don't know yet. I might just do 87 just for the, just for the hell of it. But that's something for the machine shop to do. Uh, like we saw on the, the other video, there was one stud snapped all the way in the back end of the exhaust. The exhaust side of the manifold. I'm still waiting on parts to come before I can even bring the, the engine to the machine shop. So I may try to get that stud out myself. I don't know yet. Might give it a shot and the worst that happens is I fuck it up a little bit more and I still make the machine shop do it. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'll probably wind up ordering more studs for that for the whole exhaust side. Um, intake side I don't think needs it. I have all the bolts for it. We'll, we'll see about that one. And uh, I gotta take that off of the, the tensioner, clean it up. I don't know if I'm gonna take uh, stuff like those off. This, there's a couple on the other side. I don't know if I'm gonna take those off. Yeah, next stop for this thing is the machine shop. Maybe I'll try to clean it up a little bit. I don't even know. I'll probably just leave the oil all over it because it'll help prevent it from rusting at all. Because uh, like I said, I'm waiting on parts. But the crank's gotta go, the block's gotta go, and the head's gonna go. Um, I may wind up doing valve springs, I don't know yet, but if I do, 
then we'll probably do a lot more aggressive cam on the top. So it's a win-win. I mean, a lot of more, a lot more money to spend, but it's a win-win. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, video of tearing this block the rest of the way apart. Uh, it's torn apart now, so I'm just waiting on parts. So uh, if you're following along with the build, I appreciate it. Uh, throw a thumbs up, maybe. Uh, tell your friends about it. Maybe you know a friend trying to. Maybe you know a friend trying to build the RB25. Who knows? Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.